I'm back. <laughs> of course we are have, gonna have uh, mayhem on craziness. Uh, the first mm. time back, I think the last time we were here was January 2020, something around like the 15th or so. It feels like life. It feels like nothing has ever, yeah. ever. You know, there's the littlest of booms, Angel. We have a great show in store for you today. In studio, I have fabulous people. I have the director of uh, the, well, award-winning film now, Dear right. Dear Jackie, Henri Pardo, one of the members of the film, educator Keith Riley. He also has the dubious distinction of being, are you the favorite nephew this week? Oh, we all know I'm the favorite. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump right into it here. Dear Jackie came out during Rencontre Internationale de Documentaire last fall. That's right. I think we cuddled up. And I sat back and I watched it, and it was, as usual, hard to watch. Um, I did not register mm -hmm. the degree to which being black, uh, I have to say Quebec, but I think it's perhaps Montreal, is so difficult. And so it was a hard film for me to look at. And then towards the last part of the film, there was that scene in which we shot here in studio with Keith, phone to me who sends his regrets, and myself where we sat and talked about racism, our own personal racism. Um, I guess that my first question to you, Henri, is setting out to do the film, did you already know that there was that much or, or the racism that black people experience living here was that heavy and dense? Hmm. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's a loaded question. Um, I think, well, personally, and I think I think this is right for everybody. I think we're we were talking about Star Trek a while ago. Mm. The the correct name. It's like it's like we're ships, you know. We've mm. got these sensors that go in all types of directions, and I think as black people, men and women, we've got these sensors and we feel it. We sense it that there is a problem. Um, looks, laws, rules, you know, um, habits that the general society has regarding us. Um, so that was there, of course, mm. you know, and as a filmmaker, you know, my, our job as filmmakers is sort of, sort of to look at humanity and sort of like give this a mirror to it, you know, as faithfully as possible. And our hope is to sort of transform society, right? Um, so, but after a while, you sort of have to dig in deep and do the research and meet the people. And throughout this um, production of Dear Jackie, um, I, I met these issues head on through personal um, uh, personal stories, through emotions. They were all there, you know. So that 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 hit me hard. That hit me hard to sort of like deal with that. And quite honestly, that uh, accumulated with the pandemic, uh, Coriolan or George Floyd or whatever. I at one point I broke down. Well, I had the, the, the vision to break down way in advance. And then I think I was crying for a lot of it. Yeah. I guess my question next to you, Keith, we were all locked away. Some people call it a hoax. Some people call it a pandemic. Um, and we saw what ensued. Uh, George Floyd's death. And we don't want to rehash that per se. Yeah. But that felt like a new beginning. Somebody had to die calling for their mama, and subsequently the police officer's sentence to, to a good t jail time. Some good damn jail time then get. Yeah. Did it make you sort of go, there's hope? 
Because we're not going to give away what you spoke about in the film. Because yeah, sure. we want people across the country and in Montreal, your opportunity to see the film is this Thursday. At the end of the interview, I'll tell you where. Go on, go get your pens and your papers. <laughs> right? But did you feel the sentencing that there was hope? To an extent. Um, I think it, it's having grown up in this in this world of media and, and being a, a kid of my generation, I grew up with technology and the internet, so having everything at my fingertips. I've been seeing these issues for a very, very large portion of my life. Um, I think seeing George Floyd and seeing, the, and seeing what came of that wasn't necessarily that... It's that this was one that was caught. It was one that was filmed. Ah, It yes. was something that people saw. And it's now for the first time, this was something that was public, you know, pu published around the world for there to be a reaction. So I think the fact that that needed to, that, that it had to go to that extent for there to be any kind of action of some sorts says something. But realistically, what we have to kind of tell ourselves is, do I, do I, did I see hope? I did, because I always try to be a hopeful person. Mm. But here we are in 2022. Yeah. July. Have things really changed all that much? The choices you made in the film, Ari, mm -hmm. uh, because we're going to go to the next hot button subject, and that's going to be uh, this spring gently turning into summer. We've seen a lot of race baiting or language baiting from our premier. We're getting ready to head into an election. At one point, um, I don't call his name out loud, I said the premier, right? I'll leave it just so, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. He said that the only culture uh, that is worth anything, really, if you will, and I'm paraphrasing, is the Quebecois culture. That culture comes first. Uh, it seemed very reductionist uh, for a colonizer, because that he represents that, right? Yes. To say that, uh, did you sort of in your head, oh, I wish he said that while I was in editing? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, then the, there are many things that, um, that are said that uh, could have been in the film mm -hmm. and other things that will be said on and on and on again. And that's one of the things. Um, the the descendants of the colonizers truly believe that they're the first ones here and they matter first um, and they forget first of all first of all about indigenous people mm. and and then the enslaved people that were here indigenous and black that were here but that's yeah that's a long time ago but right now we've got um, a diverse um, city and province and, and country and to hear thoughts like that to hear you know, as the leader is really uh, unbecoming and very um, hard, hard for all of us to yeah. hear, all of us to hear, you know, like uh, it's really important also to know that it's when I talk about these things, I talk about us for sure, but also them, you know, I yeah. think I think I think white people are blessed to have us here. Yeah. You know, and and to, I don't know that. <laughs> Hi, hello, hello, hello. And to have us, because you think about the culture that is, in, you think of Montreal. You're not thinking party chinois, Putin only. No, you're thinking about the diverse cultures that we have here. The the different the different music venues that we have. The reggae that you can hear walking down the block in NDG. You know the the hip hop and and the hip hop and soul that you'll find going anywhere. In the, you know in Montreal Nord or whatever. Yeah. Maybe the soul, the essence of Montreal has been something that has been a hot pot of cultures forever and now and again I'm using Montreal as an example here because this is the reality that I live but Quebec overall it, we we there seems to be this mentality and especially for those who are in power that Quebec is Quebec no Quebec is Canada and this is Thank one of the big you. issues this is one of the big issues that does not that is obviously reinforced a lot by people who are outside of Quebec, who this kind of look from the outside in and take a look at us. But there's this this core value inside of people who are who are our leaders in this province who want to separate themselves so much from what is one of the biggest proud proudest things that Canada has, which is our diversity, and they want to pull that out. 
Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. And this is where, you know, that expression, decolonizing the mind, history, mm -hmm. politics is really important, right? It's, 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 it's not about the old wars, the old European wars anymore. It's about, well, who's on this territory? First of all, you know, hats off to the, the truly first people here, the indigenous peoples mm -hmm. that are here. And after that, it's just a question of partager le bien commun, to share that, that common wealth that we all have, that we all spread, so we're able to make a better, a better, a better, you know, setting, a table setting for everybody that can really chime in and make this, this country, province, city, this region, this territory better. Right. And I think I think there's a lot to be, you know, we often talk about our culture like, uh, you know, food, clothing yeah. and, 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 and music and entertainment and stuff like that. But there are also business models, right, mm -hmm. that are inspired by who we are that bring this to the table also that can make things different and better for, for all of us that are here. That question. All right. So I would like to know in the coming election mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, for me, this film, these issues are always being talked about. I've been in this building, you know, me, Sarah, Hani, Wheezy, we built this place with our bare hands. And from the inception of this place and McTavish before it, we have been talking about these issues of race. We've been talking about issues of policing. Oh my gosh, Montreal, you need to see the policing story in the film oh 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 mm. yeah mm. that's all i'm saying because you have a opportunity to watch <laughs> it right um do is there an example that we can point to now since all that we've gone through because remember with the pandemic we we were shut down the air got clean yeah. They showed us the water in Venice became <laughs> clear and didn't stink anymore for a I time. I remember that one. Right? <laughs> the, everything, the ice slowed down melting. The whole place got better yeah. mm. because humanity doubled down and put out its best self. Like fear was this great motivator, right? Now it's almost as if we've forgotten. I don't know. You all tell me. And we're moving forward. There's an opportunity with the next election. These issues are probably not going to get raised too much yeah. because it's as strategically, I think, they built their calendar doing what they did. Um, and to know that in the summer when it's nice and we love each other and we're in poutine fest, hugging each other and we're warm and we're, then they don't put elections January 15th when we're pissed off, <laughs> right? They ain't stupid, yeah. right? Yeah. But is there something that we can point to that gives you hope or do we have to ba battle it out at the box? It's a big question. Sorry, <laughs> boom, boom time. Yeah, yeah. boom, boom time. Yeah, um, it's, it's, Again, you, you want to be hopeful, right? You want mm. to be like, no, there, there is, there's that light at the end of the tunnel. This is mm. what it could be. But at the end of the day, we know that this has been an uphill battle and it continued to be an uphill battle until it really, you know, who knows if this is a winning battle, if there's a winning point to this battle. But with, with, the, way, with the current way things are, it does seem like it's, it's we need to show up. Yeah. You know, if, we, if, we, if we take a look at the numbers, if we take a look at the numbers of, of, of recent elections in, in past years, federal and provincial, we don't show up. Yeah. And when I say we, and, and the we is not the, the black community, it is not the indigenous community, it is, it's, it's minority communities overall whose voice often, who are the ones who oftentimes these policies truly do affect, we are the ones that don't show up. So this is something that I think has been addressed multiple times by community, by a lot of community leaders. And I think it's something that we need to continue pushing, especially for the younger generations as well. Because at the end of the day, millennials right now, we're starting to take those big numbers you know, in regards to the workforce. We're taking those big numbers, hopefully, to the boxes as well. And this needs to be something that becomes sustained with future generations as well. Definitely, definitely. I, I, and I do believe that voting um, is really important. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but you know, your question, I was <laughs> thinking of an answer. I was like, oh my God. But it brings me back to, to Dear Jackie mm. or, or Little Burgundy. Mm. You know, like the, the, the questions that you put up front are similar to what was going on 100 years ago, yeah. mm. uh, 70 years ago, 50 years ago. It just goes on and on and on. And, and, and that's something that I explored throughout the film is that the, the, the fact that these problems never change and sometimes they change you know there are you know slight slight <laughs> angles the, the that are goes, the hurt goes <laughs> elsewhere is what it is. exactly <laughs> but um they never do but one other thing that hasn't changed though is the way the community sticks together right mm -hmm. because in the past and in the present we weren't involved in decisions that were important to us we had to organize we had to organize the ncc we had to organize U U union united church and the rest of those organizations and the peoples that have done that are still present you know they're still present and those kids right now those millennial millenni millennials <laughs> yeah the tough are, generation right <laughs> <laughs> are are active and still doing it and yep. getting a word out out there you know like ckut yeah is still yeah. there you know, still shouting out, still yelling out, this is what we need and we, we need to, to get it. But behind those the, the those shouting matches, there are people getting together and sticking together yep. and being really um, uh, collaborative. So that's what I get, you know, from after doing a film like this, after meeting the community of Little Burgundy, it's, it's, it's sticking together. No matter what happens, we've been doing it now for 400 years, yep. right? It's still the same plight well thank you very much for a very very well thought out film i like the love letter to jackie dear jackie mm -hmm. i like the devices i love the look and feel of it the different stories the intergenerational yeah. aspect of it right it truly is a beautiful film Beyond the screening that's coming this Thursday, nationally and internationally, tell us what's going on and how can people who have seen the film and those who want to help the film in a, some sort of digital organic way? Is there mm -hmm. a place for people to jump on and, and start making it known to cinemas uh, that we want this film what are the festivals what's going on tell me tell yeah, me yeah yeah um uh, dear jackie's alive and well it's 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 going around um i was in the uk in june to present it at the sheffield uh, dock fest over there and that went really well it was really good to see brothers and sisters relate over there because yeah. i was wondering because i know the the north american reality right but europe is different and i don't know the uk that much but they just went yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds it's, about right. <laughs> yeah, we we can relate. It's uh, basically the same story. So yeah. that's you know, universality comes into mind. Um, so it's done uh, a few festivals like that, Halifax, and and it's going to Toronto uh, at uh, the Real World Film Festival also. Okay, when is Real World? October. Uh, that's right, October. Oh, okay. So it's going to be there. Uh, it's going to be at Union United Church. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's going to be a, a special, special mm -hmm. event for, for me anyways, just to, yeah. <laughs> like, to give it back. Because that home. was my Full priority. Yeah, home, exactly. Home, yeah. home, home. Back home. And of course, we've got our broadcaster, which is CBC yes. Documentary Channel. So they'll they'll have it on their platform, on GEM. Um, and I think it's going to be really out there on February. Of course, yeah. Black History uh, Month. Black History Month, and then it's going to be there for for the longest time. So we do have pages, we do have uh, Instagram pages, and and Facebook also. So all the details about other projections because we did tour uh, Montreal parks, yes, uh, and stuff like that. It was at the Cinémathèque and different theaters and stuff. So that's continuing also. So I, I'd refer people to those pages. Dear Jackie, film. Beautiful. Dear Jackie, film. Yeah. Montrealers, I got the hat to speak to. No, no, this is Sister P from the spaceship. Straight up, Union United is celebrating 115 years, 115. 
anything and everything that has needed to ever happen to us as a community has always been there and continues to do that. I think it's extremely interesting that we will take this film, screen it there, home in the heart of community, and then many of us who are in the film will sit down and have perhaps a different conversation than what you had here today. But this is community at work. It's almost similar to Challenge for Change, which came out in the 60s. Those of you yes. who are cinephiles <laughs> will know the Challenge for Change films. It is taking on that kind of route. You need to be there, 7 p.m., 9006 DeLille Street, which is one street east of Lino Grew Metro. It's right behind Lino Grew Metro okay. in Little Burgundy. So get there. Tickets. Is it first come, first serve? What is it? Oh, no, this is really great. Yeah, it is first come, first serve. But uh, so there's a it's strongly suggested that there's a five dollar donation. That's right. And, and all this goes straight to Union United Church. All right. It doesn't go to the producers or the broadcaster. It's straight for for us, basically. So Union United continues its hard work. It's hard work. Remember, they have a food kitchen. Mm -hmm. They have the children's ministry, the, the music ministry, ministry, all sorts of ministry. Uh, so check it out. Ari, yeah. tap yourself on your back, boy. <laughs> boy, pat up yourself on your back. What's next for you? Ah, uh, well, I did this other project called Afro Canada, and it's a five, it's a four part docuseries on Afro Canadian history. Mm. So it's uh, it's 400 years, but in four hours, and it's a completely different project. It's the whole country. That was wonderful. And right now I'm in the edit room for another project called Canaval, and that one is a bit more close to the heart. It's the story of, it's uh, an Afro futurist way of looking at my family's arrival. Uh, to Canada. Okay. Yeah, yeah, how we got here and, uh, you know, dealt uh, dealt what we had to deal with on this strange <laughs> planet called Canada. Yeah. You know? And now you taking images and audio and just showing the people back to themselves, right? <laughs> After all, your family has a lot to be proud of in you. Nephew, what's yeah. going on in your life? My life, ah, I mean, you know what it is. I'm trying to keep my head up, trying to stay positive. <laughs> Things are always going to try to pull me down. A wedding is in my future. Yes. <laughs> what? Yeah. Darling. I am engaged to be married. A, uh, we're a year from the date to next weekend. Okay, congrats, yeah. man. Thank congrats. You. congrats. Yeah. See, things change. Henri, you're walking in the church sideways <laughs> with the oh, hat. You know the, the big oh, the big hat coming the hat out. The hat is you know? coming in. <laughs> I'm going to try to lose the belly and wear heels, <laughs> of right? Course. Yeah, no, it's uh, to, to continue on the you know the legacy of this family, you know, to make me, make me grandmother proud. You know, yeah. I, wear, I wear on my neck and I want to, you know, have her live and breathe and throughout the rest yeah, of my generation. That's right, because that's right, cause we went through We went true. through it. We, yeah, we, we right. went we through it just like mommy. a lot of our other ones have. Yeah, a lot of families lost yeah. a lot, yeah, right? So, so we're uh, continuing. Keep pushing. That's the, the, that's the yeah, thing. It's, well, it's congratulations. Thank I you. can't wait. As Montrealer, that, that date again, September 1st, 7 p.m., Union United Church, Right, right beside Lionel Guru Metro in the Little Burgundy area. Look for the film, Dear Jackie Film. Google it. Those of you who are not so good on your phones yet, call the little child who lived down the road from you. <laughs> Tell her to Google it for you. <laughs> exactly. Hi, hello. But that's what you, what you think my neighbor does with me. I have to find everything on YouTube for her, right? Call the grandchildren, the godchildren, right? Look for it, right? And especially if those of you are homeward bound and can't get out, put it on your list in February to watch online. It, it screened beautifully. I was in Toronto with my great, no, was she? She's 
a, I think she's a sixth cousin, mm -hmm. but she's 96 years old. And she sat down and she watched it and it just screened beautifully. It held, it holds up quite well on television as it does, but it's the big screen. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> definitely. It, it hits a little different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, All I'm going to say, uh, <laughs> those of you kids uh, who are now big men and grandfathers who I used to beat up in elementary school, come and watch the film. You get to see Sister Pat cry. Mm hmm That's all I'm saying. <laughs> CKUT 90.3 FM. We're Angel. And she we cries well, too. I cry well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you notice how my, like, my, my mascara did not run or anything like uh -huh. that? Trinidad is in the house, right? Ricardo Emilio Watkins is in the house. So lots of people are beloved. Mary, Faith, Wholeness. Open their mic. Your mic is open, they, I, Stretch says, but it should be open. All righty. Well, that is it. Congrats, guys. Thanks All righty. Thank Thanks you. a lot. We continue. We're going to play some music. What are you playing there? You're playing this? Okay. All right. We're going to play this here. This is this. All righty. There we go. Mm -hmm. 